So now I'm sat here with Little Red Kings. Hello, welcome to UEA. How are you? Hi, Seb. Good, good. Um, so what kind of genre would you say kind of fits the music that you guys make? Um, I guess we're uh, I guess we're rock, but we're alternative rock, so we're not straight rock or anything. Okay. And maybe a bit of blues thrown in as well. Oh, okay. And Little Red King, the interesting name. Where did it come from? How did it come about? Dougie. Uh, where did the name come from? Uh, I don't really know. It was just came up in discussion one day, wasn't it? Just a conversation, just randomly. And that makes a good, good band name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think yeah, it was three different <laughs> words that we and we were looking for something that was uh, that you could Google and no one else had it. So three words put together, oh, okay. kind of. We own Little Red Kings now. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. it. Oh, okay. That's it. So where did it all begin? Be begin. So you formed in 2011. How did the band come about? Okay, so. Um, I was looking for another band because I'd just left a band that I was doing. Um, and um, a chap from New Zealand, um, I met up with him and uh, he started playing bass and then we, we found a, a drummer and another guitarist. And since then, people have been leaving, coming and going due to various things. And we're now, um, we're now up to a five piece and I think we're pretty set. I don't think anyone's going anywhere now. Um, so sort of like three years breaking later. No breaking news, no, <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, I think we've I think we've got the lineup that we're sticking with now. So did you guys all know each other before or did you kind of all meet each other when you were looking for more bandmates? Um, no, yeah, I I've never met these guys before apart from playing in the band, so uh, I I don't really want to see them outside of the band. Dougie beforehand and um I say when um John, the old bassist, um um, went to New Zealand and we had to get something to cover, so I sort of joined the band at, at that point to, to cover. Um, Dougie knew me um, sort of as, a, as a recommended basis to come in and, and play. Um, and I say since then we sort of made the, sort of took the decision to, to get John to play keys um, mm -hmm. and sort of me to follow on as, as bass. Um, and that's sort of where, where we are now really, isn't it? Um, so have all of you always wanted to play music and be in a band or is it something that kind of just came up because the opportunity was there? Um, I really took up bass um, when I was back in college, uh, mainly because no one else played bass, really. Um, it's the main reason I, I picked it up. I um, always liked music and in interest in it, and just never, never played an instrument, um, and sort of gave it a go, and, and sort, of, sort of stuck at it, really. I don't know about the other guys. Is that similar for you as well? Have you always kind of wanted to like, be in a band and like, play music? Or? Yeah, 16 for me was pick up a guitar and, and play live to people. I, I didn't do lessons or any of that initially. I just wanted to, to play live. That was what I wanted to do. Is that like the same for you as well? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I just um, not sure if I'm really a musician, but we just, <laughs> I just I just sort of write songs and, and mess about on guitars, really. <laughs> Are there any individuals or art music artists that have influenced you? Or would you say kind of have had an influence on the Little Red Kings? Or would you say you're kind of all where it's just kind of? I think there's just so that. many influences because now there's five of us, and we all have quite different tastes. I think there's just. Um, I think it's just so many influences, really, and they just and it all kind of works, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, the only trouble w perhaps we have is that our songs vary so much from song to song. I mean, we literally go ballad to, you know, something hard quite uh, yeah hard rock, but then quite something Blue soulful and bluesy. Yeah. So that maybe that's something we need to work on. But for <laughs> for the for now, I quite like the you know the, the variation. So we heard a few of your tracks earlier. Uh -huh. um, went down very well in the studio. Um, how did you enjoy the process of recording your first album? Uh, yeah, the first album, so we recorded that ourselves, um, mainly due to costs and, and because um, we just wanted to do something DIY. And so we, we pulled a bit of money together and, and got some gear, not very good gear. And it was, I mean, it was really done on a shoestring, trying to sell it tape and blue tag and <coughs> duvets. And, and uh, yeah, and it, and it went all right. And, it, you know, I just learned as we went. And now that's something that I'm trying to do more, um, get a little studio together. Was the process of recording your first album kind of what you imagined it to be like, or were there kind of, was it easier, or were there other difficulties that you hadn't kind of accounted for? Yeah, I mean, loads of difficulties, just uh, not having space, not having any great equipment, and just finding ways around it. And you can find ways around it. I mean, if, you know, if you haven't got a huge, great building like this to mic up a drum kit, then, you know, stuff it in the corner, insulate it all out, and close mic it. And I mean, there's, there's ways you can do it, shutting amps and cupboards, and, you know. <laughs> uh, be it, creative. It, it can be done, yeah, <laughs> it can be done. So now you've recorded your first album, you've like, been together a while, you're obviously confident with the things you're producing. What's next? What have you guys got coming up? Are you about so tours and? Uh, new album, um, 
which we which we're working on, and so we've got new premises now, which we um, which we rent to record it in, and some nice new gear. So that's going to be exciting, and then um, a lot more gigs. So I yeah. think Dougie's probably uh, best to tell you about the gigs. Yeah. Um, hitting the summer festivals hard. Um, got a, a couple of big ones coming up. Um, uh, just a couple in the local area and a couple going further yeah. afield, uh, down south, up north. Uh, not quite as far as Scotland or Wales yet, but we're, we're working. <laughs> too, <laughs> too far, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the new album, really want to bring that out and then hit the local music venues much more, uh, uh, as well as pubs further afield, uh, yeah. try and get in with some bands, support uh, tours, but we won't be headlining our own one yet. It's, it's very much supporting bands. <laughs> we will, will we? Okay, right, that'll be interesting. That's exciting. Maybe you'll be on stage at the UALCR in yeah. a, in a yeah. while to come. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. We enjoyed like, hearing your music. Um, we wish you all the best. Okay. So Can thank I just you. Say one last thing? Yeah, go. Okay. go um, so um, we're, um, we're littleredkings.com or Dakota UK. Um, and uh, if you want to book us, then you know, we, we have a lot of dates free <laughs> at the moment. Not that many, but we have quite a few dates free. So, yeah, so that was Little Red King. Little Red Kings, oh yeah, I kind of fumbled that because <laughs> um, <laughs> because uh, we actually do own both of them, like this. So, but littlerekings.com is fine. And the link um, to your track, your album, will be it's free all to download there, yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, on it's our all website. there. Yeah. So, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs>